We had the best time this week, I have to say. We chatted with some lovely ladies from Williamsville who are stars. They are, oh that's, I'm just gonna say that, they're stars yeah. because they are on the big stage this weekend. They are, they're gonna be hitting the stage, like literally hitting with their feet the stage. You know what I'm talking about, River Dance That's is right. in town, it's at Shays uh, tomorrow night and across mm. the weekend. If you haven't got your tickets, get tickets because this is huge. We have three local women who are dancing in the production this weekend. And the last time they were with River, River Dance, they were on Broadway and they got shut down because of COVID. So yes. this is like a huge thing. It's also the first time they've ever performed at Shays, which is wild. Yes. They've performed all over America, but not in their hometown. And this weekend is when it's at. Yeah, so this Buffalo really takes pride in their Irish dancing. And now you have three more reasons to be extremely proud. Take a look. being able to participate in this production together. It's just something that we've all literally, I mean, Riverdance, we all grew up watching, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, so for us to even be in the show is just a blessing. But for three girls from the same town in Buffalo, New York, to be in the cast is almost unheard of. Um, so we're all just honestly really blessed to be a part of it and we can't wait for everyone in Buffalo to actually come see it. Tell me about this, your background in dance, yeah. has it always been Irish dancing or do you do all sorts of dance? So primarily my sister and I have just been strictly Irish dance. We all went to the Rinkin Ontario School of Irish Dance. Yeah. Erin, yeah. we call it normal dancing. <laughs> it's like the other one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. so. I did a little of that but um, yeah we I mean, we were all in dance class together mm -hmm. our entire mm -hmm. lives. Like, we trained next to each other. We have pictures of the three of us in talent shows together when we're like little babies mm -hmm. at Forest Elementary. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it is so full circle that the three of us now are professional dancers dancing at Shays. It's unbelievable. Could you see yourself doing anything else, really, truly? Yeah, so, uh, no. <laughs> No, but right now, I mean, obviously when Riverdance ended um, our tour because of the pandemic, uh, we all kind of had to figure out something else to do because theaters were shut. Um, me and Erin are currently teaching at Rinkin Atirna. My sister got into real estate at Envision Real Estate. And, um, but so it's also such an amaz amazing thing for not only our teacher who taught us all these years to come see us, but now our students. <laughs> To come see the show too is yeah. going to be pretty cool. <laughs> and where do you go from here? Do you are you traveling? No. Oh, is it just yeah. it's just, <laughs> just here. We're, they're letting us perform in Buffalo. Is uh, really you know awesome. we were supposed yeah. to do that the last tour. So yeah, they're currently so we were on the 25th two years ago in 2020, and then they're currently um, redoing the 25th tour. Mm -hmm. So they're they've been on the road. They're traveling. I mean, for the next couple months, city to city. Um, so we're just hopping on for. Buffalo shows, which we're so thankful for. That's really great, yeah. right? Okay, so tell me about, not to give away too many spoilers, about what people are going to be seeing, but give them a taste of what exactly is happening on the stage with you ladies dancing. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if most people have seen River Dance. I know a lot, almost everyone's parents are maybe not some of the younger generation. <laughs> um, but River Dance, the cool thing about it is it's stayed the same. The choreography, the, the numbers, that's what makes it the original. And it's, you know, been going for 26 years now the exact same way. Except for the 25th, we've tried to spice it up a little bit. So there's a couple new costumes, um, a new number in the show, and a new set, which is really awesome. But um, we will be in the majority of the main group numbers in the show, which Riverdance is most known for as their big group numbers. But this is something you have to learn your entire life yeah. to be very good at. Right. Yeah, I think like growing up, like we practiced every single day. Um, and it's not even like, like say you go for a run and that like you really have to like the training you have to be dancing every day like it's right. so strenuous and such high energy but then also requires such technique with turned out feet steady upper body so you really have to practice a lot and you have to be like extremely flexible because i'm yeah. just thinking about how you how in the world do you keep your upper body so straight and then you pick yeah. the leg up and then i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> it's amazing yeah I how many calories do you burn in the show? See, we actually, I would not know, but it's what the kids we teach now like to have competitions at class with their Apple watches now that those <laughs> have come out and you can track your calories. So we're not allowed to wear those in the show, but I would be very curious to see um, yes. how much we would burn. <laughs> Just like an 
an insane amount I mean, of it's uh, steps. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned your students. Yeah. Like, how big a deal is this? Like you said, I mean, I know what Riverdance was. It was huge in the 90s mm -hmm. into the early 2000s, but you're really bringing it back for a lot of the local kids. Yeah. Like, right. How does it feel? It is literally our dream come true. Like, we have dreamed about performing Chase like since we were little girls. And so we're just hoping to inspire the next generation of Rinky Tuna and show them like it is possible, you know, dream big, go for it. And we're just really excited and we hope to inspire our students. Did you ever perform a chase before? No. no. <laughs> it's always been the one that got away. Yeah. Like it's been number one on our list and it's been so close, but we think hopefully we will get to this weekend. And it's crazy to think that like we performed on Broadway, uh, the West End, Radio City Music Hall, and we have not performed at Shays. That's the one thing we, we need to get to, and we're finally getting there. I got chills. Yeah. Yeah. Goosebumps. Yeah. It makes us very emotional. I can pretty much say that we've all like we're the little girls in the crowd. So yeah. now, I mean, we keep on saying this all full, full circle. I mean, now we're like. We're in it, so <laughs> I'm thinking back to when I was cheering, being like a four year old girl in the back. Yeah, <laughs> like, I love that. So, and no, so awesome. people really need to turn out, show up, and share <laughs> yeah. this moment with you. Yeah, right. yeah. It, it's truly once in a lifetime. It's our dream come true. Like, it is our dream show at our dream venue for our friends and family. Like, it does not get any better. <laughs>- Gorgeous inside and out. They are oh, just my the loveliest. Love them. But that's like Western New Yorkers for you. I love it. Of course, you want to get tickets, shays.org. You know where to go. And it's Riverdance kicks off tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And it's running only for three nights. That's so right. Don't and miss it. Yes. And we can't keep repeating this enough. Shays.org. Go there now. Get your tickets.